games, mystery, fun, murder, death, chaos. <laughs> Hello, sir. The man before you draws himself up straight, similar to simulating respectability. Curtis Wendell, reputable vendor, despite what you might have heard, or even directly experienced. Okay, even something. Okay. I like. Let's see, one token for that gear, huh? Well, I've got a token. Roll that gear out for us. He places his left hand on the gear and then extends his right towards you, palm up. You place a semi filthy coin within. Have fun with your whatever this thing is. He rolls out your new acquisition indifferently, returning to a strange little nest. He then places the small coin in his thumb and flipping it into the air, catches it in his mouth and begins to chew. Ooh. He chewed on the garbage thing. Garbagey coin. Okay, let's see what this gear gets us. Hello, dear niece. Welcome back. We did secure a rather large gear. Did you? And this gear is? It is down in the garbage, ready to be raised with the crane. You have a crane? Hand clap becomes a very picture of poise. Every young lady should have a crane. Our partnership really has been incredibly productive. Hopefully this gear and vast key will bear fruit. Indeed, child, dark fruit. Yes, Uncle. Is what we're doing actually useful? Oh, yes, of course. I apologize. I often live quite within my own head. I will continue my studies, certainly, to those depths which science may penetrate, but I am operating from a theory. Break it down for me. Break it down. Taken as a whole, the evidence presents an alarming assertion the corruption of a mechanical construct with forces beyond natural science. Malevolent things may roost in ordinary machines. Indeed, there are many such cases, as I'm sure you know. My thesis, uncle, so-called extra natural possession, is not something I can determine with a test tube. What's next? I will tell you that the bolts you brought earlier, the one wriggling, wriggling with writing in no human language, did leap out the window. And even now, it rolls to some nefarious purpose. Could it be that this small part hungers to be reunited with the whole? Were you able to ascertain its direction? Towards Hobo Alley, I believe, and seismic data corroborates a possible rendezvous. As preposterous as that might appear. I don't know how much more I can discern from bits and bombs. We need to obtain a prototype of the machine. The beautiful hole. Back to the alley. Pelican Bay might also turn up a few surprises if you have the time. Okay, let's go to the hobo. The hoboken. More hot toddies. Hobo Alley. We are not quite done with this place. Still have to get inside that one place because I haven't found. I found like half the robots. I need to find the other half. Of the robots. Okay. To find a giant robot, you must become a giant robot. Maybe. Flying robot. A fighting robot. Mega Man. Okay, let's go. I'm guessing it's to the right. That's where I would assume it'd be. Maybe not. Okay, I guess it's not. That's still locked. Well, then it's gotta be with the urine guy, right? Urine guy. Where are you, urine guy? Well, he's over here, I know that, but. So why am I calling out to him? Whatever. Giant robot, where are you, giant robot? That's what I should be calling. Oh, it's that guy. Hello, guy. He straightens his lapels as you approach. Of course, of course, you might. You must be from the academy. This about the grant, yes? Grant from the college, no. He almost seems destroyed by the news. 
Yes, yes, I see. Dr. Wimple. That is to say, Dr. Ernest B. Wimple, at your service. I had rather hoped that you were an envoy of the old academy. I have paperwork in for a research grant, you see? A grant my pressing work desperately requires. How long has your documentation been in Dr. Wimple? I attend the OA myself. The place is a madhouse. And I mean that in a literal sense. 27 years. I think you got your response. Yes, I'm afraid you may be right. That is the trouble with founding a new field. One is constantly under siege by heretics and unbelievers. What is your area of expertise? You might have seen some of my experiments in this very neighborhood. Many of them are ongoing. I am a urinologist. I guess I'm not familiar with the error field. I study the, the effect of urine on things. So you pee on stuff. No, sir, I do not merely... Merely, any layman might approach a suitable material and simply relieve them oneself. There are very few who may see, say that they truly urinate. What is the ultimate goal of urinology? We, I have to say I, believe that a robot will pee of its own free will during our lifetimes. This will be incredible. Your lab is locked up. Yes, you are very observant. It's locked up, as you see, as you say, because of these cursed hobos and their hobid excesses. They are everywhere, fouling my experiments with their excretions. Pardon me for asking, but I'm fascinated. You don't want them to pee on your pee? The whole thing is very complicated, and I wouldn't expect you to understand it. These tragic, diseased men stand in the path of science! What I need are deeply immoral men or women, or some combination of the two, to make these damnable hobos urinate elsewhere. Perhaps in hell. Such men and women would be compensated richly, so I am in possession of a certain... Except another street for, for, for certain rare cards. Rare who? It's a scientist thing. You want us to kill hobos? <laughs> Goodness, no. No, I would never would kill the hobos. <laughs> Let's go kill hobos. This is what I was born to do. I <laughs> turned me while I'm touching myself. What? Winner, winner! <laughs> I like burn them all. Oh yeah. You're dead. Super fighting robot. Ugh. Got you. I healed, what? <laughs> And dead. And dead. Yay. Oh, wow. We have to actually go hobo hunting. I thought we said to kill these guys right here. Oh well. I'm always down for a good hunt. Hobo hunts. There's a few. Winner, winner. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> I hate how these guys have so much health. Ow. Boom. Boom. Kitty cat call. Come on. 
92, you're dead. You're all sorts of dead, bro. Wham, wham. God, why does he keep healing? Stop it. Oops. Stop healing! How are you even healing? 19 whole damage, amazing! Oh, he's dead. Let's kill this guy. Boom. Gabe's never gonna get any more, like, overkill damage in this place. These hobos are resistant to that. More hobos. I could stand to kill a few more hobos. Oh my god, there's a bunch! <laughs> Gotta go all out. Oh, jeez. Before he heals. Oh, I can't kill him. <laughs> really, it seems like the only option is just to use the super ones. Just to wait. Lame it out. Just gotta lame it out. Get him! What did you do? Did you kick him? <laughs> Wham! Punch him, solve the time. Cat, solve the time. Waiting, waiting for the bars to fill. <laughs> Locked it. Triple. Get him. Partially blocked it. That's terrible. We'll just beat him. Oh no. Beat him up. Yeah, like that. Sweet. <laughs> Max everything. That was a lot of hobos. Onward for more hobos. I think more RPGs need to be like this. <laughs> I'm gonna murder you till you're dead. Blocked it. Just wear him down. Wear him down. <laughs> Counter attack, nice. <laughs> Very excellent. Full damage, kill him. 
kill him nice and dead. Ninety damage. Ugh. Forty-five damage. That's nice. <laughs> oh no, I missed it. Oh god, that's super strong. Perfect. I don't think that would work. Hey, wasting bullets. Stop wasting bullets. How many was that? There's just two. Uh. Okay, more hobos. More hobo killing over there. This is three, so the last two should be to the right. I need more AoE attacks. Dang, that does so much. Oh, man. It seems like the big one I can punch. Attack, you're probably dead. More close to it. Dang it. Have one chance to get Gabe a thing, and I messed it up so bad. Level up, new attack. I hope it's strong. Body barrage. Rapidly press space bar and inflict more damage. No one's pointing high. Hit the target zone to stun one enemy. So it's basically the same attack, but better. <laughs> Is it harder to do? Hmm. It might be. We'll see. We'll try it out. Hobos. No, oh, they're not over here. Huh. Did I already come this way? Hmm. Don't recall. Maybe they're down the street some more. Where are the last two hobos? No, they're not over here. Are they? No. Oh, here they are. Flamethrower, because I can. <laughs> Should have blocked, but I didn't. Oh man, it really does need more. Oh god. Okay. I didn't do as much as I really wanted to do, but. Good job. I <laughs> do so much damage. Is that guy still alive? <laughs> Buy some time, cat. No! Is he... <laughs> yeah, the other one just takes more pushes. <laughs> Ah! 
Level up! Level up! And they're all dead. Hobo side. <laughs> we did it right next to him. Oh, hello, hello! We have directed the hobos elsewhere. We have directed the hobos to seek greener pastures. Or at any rate, less yellow ones. Indeed, indeed, then payment is in order. Gather round, gather round. Arnold opens the park gate and it ushers you in. Arnold makes a great show of excavating his pockets. With obvious light, and before you can recoil, he deposits a bizarre punch card. This odd little punch card has a monkey on it for some reason. A crumpled ticket. Sweet. And a wad of lint. Ew. This is a card? Yes, the promise card. Of course, my days, besides the ring, are long over. Not much good in non-scientists, I suppose. A curiosity at best. Arnold's mind seems to drift off into space and perhaps time. Perhaps, perhaps, I have said too much. Tell me about this ticket. This ticket will grant one family access to the Pelican Bay boardwalk. You don't need it? Sadly, I'm no longer allowed into the venue. <laughs> My attempts to research Sinwell have not been especially well received. Lint. Yes, unfortunately. This was an accident, you may keep it, however. What would you even do with a grant? I've exhausted the scientific prospects of the local area, I'm afraid. You've peed. I mean, really peed on everything here. At one time or another, yes, many things more than once. My studies are quite rigorous. Congratulations, I guess. My proposal to the old academy involved urinating directly on the sin wheel, Pelican Bay's infamous Ferris wheel. This is actually sort of awesome. Imagine someone peeing on something like that. Wouldn't it be amazing? Wouldn't it be important? No. Yes! Without the money, I've had to scale back my experiments somewhat. But if I could obtain via some means a 1 64th scale replica of the sin wheel, I believe that I could accurately model the effects of urine on the larger structure. I, uh, I'm always keeping an eye out for that Ferris wheel of yours, Dr. Wimpy. Good luck on your pee research.